Super Dave here with another review. Super Dave coming at you with another exciting review today. <laughs> That's right even in a pandemic and today we're looking at another thundercat let's look at panthro super sevens ultimate panthro and this traditional mailer box except it opens from the side and when you open up the package within you get this amazing package with the awesome circular thundercat logo just like we saw with our lion o and wow isn't that so cool it says Ultimates on the top. It just has the Super 7 logo and the legalese on the bottom. It has the word Thundercats on the back and that nice looking. And then once you lift that slip cover, there is our action figure right there. Panthro. Wow, he's got a lot of cool looking accessories. He is going to be awesome to look at. You just look again at that awesome artwork on the back that is reminiscent again of the 80s cartoon. Just really looks cool. And then there's a write-up of Panther. If you'd like to read that, you can pause it and do so now. Let's break this guy open and check out our Ultimates Panther. All right, come on over to the review booth to look at his accessories. And the first thing that we'll look at is, of course, his hands. And he comes with two sets of left hands here that the thumb comes out a little bit like it did with lion -O's. They're identical, though. He gets two left hands that are just alike. And he gets two right hands that are just alike. And uh, these look like both of them, the thumbs come out a little bit. So they're not really that different at all in, in that sense. But there we got three sets of hands including the one that's on the figure and this one similar to Lino's is that claw type hand where he'll be able to hold some of his accessories and and uh, of course prop his hand on his hip kind of like that like we were doing but he's just got that claw looking open palm look a little bit more so than the other ones and so there you have the hands then Panthro comes with several small accessories like this detonator, which is really cool. He can set off some of the bombs that he makes. You remember this uh, Panthro, and I'm going to compare him a little bit to Man at Arms in Motu Classics. He's the techno, you know, inventor, build guy. This almost looks like it's got a little screen on it. You see the shimmer there in that uh, little detonator looking thing. So it may be something you could also use as like a little tablet even and just has you know a handy dandy detonator on the bottom <laughs> then of course he comes with this little communicator uh, pad that he comes with here which i'm not sure exactly the name of it from the episodes i have been watching the thundercat cartoons but i don't know what all the names are of these little devices but of course this looks like a little communicator that he can talk to the other thundercats with and that's the reason I thought maybe their hands were uh, positioned so he can hold this and some of these others as well. Then he also comes with a wrench. And as I have heard others mention already, is some of this foreshadowing of us getting a thunder tank. Oh man, wouldn't that be awesome? A really nice, detailed, classics style thunder tank that is adult collector friendly and nice and built to you know realistic looking that has all the functionality and able to at least fit two come on all right super seven if you're going to do it fit two of them right <laughs> all right he also comes with a welder gun as well as the welder glasses or the goggles so that he doesn't get uh his eyes burned or anything singed on his fur as a pan panther Panthro, right? <laughs> and then his weapon. He comes with his nunchucks, which are his 
classic go-to weapon and he's popular for this is always what he used in the cartoon and look there's even a real chain that goes with that and it's just really nice of course the nunchucks themselves are plastic but the chain is real metal so that's really cool and so you have his nunchucks and that's not all because you also get a loose nunchuck that allows you to plug this awesome device in which makes it look like he's spinning those nunchucks and that's just really, really cool. Check that out. It's got that translucent plastic, the red on the uh, actual spinning ones, and the blue on the actual handle one. And I was told, and I've heard, I do not have the Mattel version of Panthro, so I won't be able to do comparison time today like we did with Lino, but I was told that this one is red on that one, and this is blue on that one. So that's a unique uh, change there that they made on that. And then the final thing that he comes with is this key of Thand uh, Thandera. The key of Thandera. And so that's really cool. It's in an episode and it's even got, if you can see there, it even has a tiny little Thundercats symbol on the middle of it. So that's really cool on both sides. And so that is just really neat. Now some of these accessories are made out of a real gummy plastic so you have to kind of be careful with them not to bend them too much out of shape but there you have it you have his accessories so first of all let's look at panthro's first head sculpt that he comes with here and you can see that this is the similar to the one that did come with the mattel version he is just the plain you know expression on his face but it looks really nice looks really nice and detailed here really think that's uh they did a great job with that and then, of course, he comes with a second head sculpt. And this one is the more open mouth. Look, there's even a, a gap there between his teeth and his mouth. You can see through that there. So you can get the, yeah, get the logo in the background. You can see that there's actually an open mouth. You can actually see a tongue a little bit molded back in there. His teeth are done really well. And his eyes, everything's painted up really nice on this figure. Panthro just looks great. I believe he looks really good. Those ears, just everything looks really nice. I'm just tickled over how he turned out. I think he turned out really good. So we can take a look at these two side by side. Zoom in here just a little bit. And you can see just how nice both of these head sculpts, the ears, the paint, everything looks great. So just very tickled over that. Now let's take a closer look and check out Panthro's articulation All right now let's take a look at panthro's articulation and see how he moves around and first thing that we want to look at is his head and his head will look up about that much his head will look down about that much not a whole lot of range of motion with this particular head he will turn side to side and he gets a decent amount of head pivot little attitude there his arm will go 360 he has bicep swivel, he has single jointed elbows, he has hinges and swivel at the wrists for all of his sets of hands. Same on this side, he has the ab crunch, which is hindered a little bit by the uh, armor, but he'll crunch forward about that much. He'll bend backwards about that much, so not a whole lot. It is restricted a little bit. You can, you can kind of force it and get a little bit more, there you go. And then he's able to, of course, turn side to side with that waist swivel. His legs will do full splits. He has thigh rotation. He has single jointed knees. His leg will go up about that much, go back about that much. And he has single jointed knees. He does not have any boot cut like uh, we saw with Lino. Uh, but um, he does have, of course, great feet articulation going up and back and then great rockers there as well he's got some little tassels on the back of his calves and, and his ankle area there so that's really cool and it looks like yeah I believe you can actually snap off you can actually take off his uh, front armor piece which is pretty interesting to note there as well but that's the articulation going over that with him and so now let's look at the function of his accessories. Moving on in here, it does look like he's able to hold with that hand. That's a perfect fit for that little communicator 
So I hope we get some more of those because that would be cool for Lion-O to be able to hold one and then be able to communicate back and forth from Lion-O to Panthro and vice versa. So maybe someone else will, so will come with one of those. Be neat to, uh, to get another one of those little communicator uh, walkie-talkie looking things or I guess we could call it a, you know, uh, third earth cell phone. I don't know. <laughs> they didn't have those back in the 80s. But anyway, there was a lot of imagination going on with Star Trek and everything else. But there you have Panthro communicating with that cool little communicator pen. And of course, he could always hold, he can hold this the same way. He can hold that with that same hand design there for him to hold that detonator looking thing there. And of course, he can also hold with that same hand formation the wrench of course he could hold it also with one of the other hands let's go ahead and pop one of those off and put in get him a right hand here pops that right in there and then you can hold the wrench just open that hand a little bit so that he can it's going to be kind of, kind of tight there on at first and just go ahead and get that wrench in his hand and he'll be able to hold that that wrench and get to work and of course he can also put on those goggles so that when he's he's got them on his on his forehead because he's not quite ready for the welder yet but then when he's ready to start welding he can slide that that down and with that particular hand right i was able to swap out the hands and get that in a little bit more of a better position so he's looked like he's welding there so he can hold that welder and aim it down. He's got his goggles on and he's, I used a little bit of a help from that piece there to block because you can't really necessarily get in a true bend of the knee position uh, with these figures without that, without double jointed knees like we know, but he can get a little help there and get that. You can always pose that just right. So you see how that function goes with the welding. All right, we're gonna go ahead and pop off this head and put on the angry head. Let's see if it goes on. Yep, goes on easier than lion nose, that's for sure. <laughs> Get uh, that angry head, and I've already got his nunchucks partially installed here. So let's go ahead and get him positioned here right quick so we can kind of get him in a battle pose here. There we go, check that out. Doesn't that look cool? He's ready. He's ready for battle now, he's ready for action. He can hold those nunchucks and get them going. There we go, check that out. <laughs> that looks really good. So the function of that head compiled with the function of those nunchucks that look just really realistic really good that real chain just functions perfectly i like that that's looking good he's ready for action uh, panthro is known for his strength for his intelligence for his planning ability and just overall a lot of a lot of handy things in uh, uh, on third earth as the thundercats really depend on him of course he invented the uh, thunder tank and just is able to invent and do a lot of things Let's go ahead and take this one off and try the action feature, kind of, I'll call it action feature, that goes along with our Panthro. And I've already got that installed, so I think we'll go ahead and take, pop that off so we can get it in his hand first of all, because you have to kind of open these hands being they're tight. Not, it's not a real, real tight like uh, He-Man's uh, hands are, but they are uh, tight enough to, to be able to all right, let's go ahead and get a position here. Get that hand in there good. Because the weight of this, we'll slide that all the way. Yeah, that's been one of the problems that has been reported by others. The weight of this device, of course, causes it to be a little bit cumbersome for him to hold because what's going to happen is you can get the right angle there we go and you're going to have to just work at it I'm going to put
put some tension on that wrist. There we go. That looks good. That worked. Just gonna have to get it in just the right position or that wrist is gonna limp over uh, if you have it in any way the gravity pulling against that hinge. So you're gonna have to position that hinge so that it uh, works for you to put tension on it that direction going downward and that way. Of course you're not gonna want it to be up too high because then it'll look like an umbrella. <laughs> but that looks really good. I think that looks good right there. I don't know if he'll be able to turn with that on or not. Let's just check and see. But you see, that looks really good. Oh, you see it limped over there. You see what I'm talking about. So you just have to make sure you get it just right in the right position. There we go. At the right angle. And that's gonna look really good. Really cool action feature or, or I should say really cool prop that adds a lot to the character. All right, I wanna check something we didn't check with Lion-O because this is cartoon accurate measuring in here that Panthro is a little shorter. You see Lion-O measures in at the top of his hair right at seven inches, whereas Panthro measures in right at six and a half inches. And that is again cartoon accurate from the 80s that Panthro was shorter than Lion-O. So just checking that out. But these look great together. Just awesome. Let's take a closer look at Panthro. Let's take a closer look at our Panthro and just check out his paint detail. Wow, I mean this right here is just amazing. Look at the detail given to that Thundercats logo around his belt. Now everything about this is correct. The belt, the logo, and the upper part. Of course all of his paint in his upper torso and legs but his uh his undergarment there or his i should say his his crotch piece is supposed to be the same color as his belt kind of that dark blue or almost a, a, a purple but it's really uh, on the camera looks kind of purple but it's actually a dark blue and uh we're told that super seven is going to send out another pair of shorts that you can exchange these out with somehow i guess they'll come with directions to be able to make this more cartoon accurate. They want to make it right. That's, that's the official report that has been said. So I don't know, we'll see, but that's gonna be interesting. I think he looks good this way, but it's just not cartoon accurate and they want it to be cartoon accurate. So everything looks good. I mentioned earlier about the fact that you can remove this and so that may make it possible if you cut this off because it is open down here. If you notice that's open so it wouldn't take much to, to cut this right here and take that off and somehow or another they'll fix it where you can get the other one on I guess if that's what they're going to do but the bands around his arm are painted really nice the band or the uh, bracelets around his or I guess almost like a small gauntlet or bracelet with the spikes are really nice these spikes here are soft but are, uh, and are not too sharp they look really good on his chest piece and of course I mentioned earlier about the tassels on the back of his calves and his boots I guess you'd call it and shin area so just all around really nice character I love this pam throw I never got a pam throw before so I was just really tickled to find out that Super 7 was going to be doing another pam throw because I just never was able to get one from Mattel they were too expensive on eBay and so I'm excited about uh, this Panthro, my first in my collection, and hopefully uh, the beginning of a great collective line as Super 7 seems to be going really deep with this. They just announced Wave 4 uh, with uh, Monkeyan and some others like Pumra, which looks really cool. So just a lot of neat things, and let's keep our fingers crossed for a Thunder Tank. Thank you for watching today. Like, comment, subscribe. Always share if you can, and let's come back for another Super Dave review and here's some photos for you to enjoy. Thank you for joining us.